Hey everybody, welcome back. We are back on Taylor Island and I'm so excited to have you guys here with me today as we are still working in our kids museum or mall um, as I like to call it. And so today this is the room that we'll be working on which is our upstairs room. And uh, we will be making, waiting for it, waiting for it. Let's see. A game room. <laughs> I wanted to get at least one piece out before I said. So this is our, our arcade game room that we are working on. And I'm in the room designer. I'm just grabbing all the items, uh, getting them out as I usually do. And then I can move them around easy with everything, having everything there and seeing how everything fits. This is like the room that would be for the tweens teens type room you know the older kids the ones that don't really want to play with the toys anymore but still likes to have fun with their friends so this is their hangout room and so we're just grabbing everything except for the wall items and let's just keep going there's a lot i have in this little room I guess it's not little. This is one of the bigger rooms, the upstairs and downstairs, but there's definitely a lot in here. <laughs> so as you can see, at the moment, I can't even walk in. So we're just going to grab everything and start putting it in place. And the first thing I want to do is the arcade games. And we're just going to take and put all the arcade games along the wall if I can make enough room to do that. And I'm not really doing any order. I'm kind of trying just to uh, separate games because I do have a lot of like the same game, um, which, you know, it doesn't matter. We can't play them anyways, but I just I wanted to give it a look like it's really full. And this is what I had. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out, you know, how I want it placed. Moving my palm tree light. Something fun for the room. And just keep going. And our last, our last arcade game. So we have lots of arcade games, as you can see. And my plan is to have seats for all of the arcade games, but I don't right now. It's something I'm working on. I've just been kind of grabbing them when I can, you know, when I can and stuff. Um, but I do would like to have like an arcade seat for each one. So when you come up, it looks like, you know, you're ready to sit down and have fun on the arcade games. But, you know, a lot of kids, they don't even sit down for the arcade games, do they? You know, they're all sitting, standing up around each other, surrounding each other and playing, right? So, it doesn't matter if there is one or not, but it'd be nice to have them. And I'm going to keep this room dark, so I'm adding the floor lights. And then we also had our pinball machines and now our foosball. And then we've got our ping pong and a couple of pool tables as well. Uh, these are going to kind of go in the middle of the room. Set it over here for now. I'm going to just kind of, like I said, set these here in the middle. And move my light. There we go. Set these in the middle, um, you know, because you have to walk around them and everything. They're kind of the bigger pieces. So I thought it would be fun just to kind of throw them all in the middle. And of course, you know, it's not going to be perfectly to scale. The way it should be and that's okay because we can't play them right and there's one of the chairs and now I'm just trying to make sure it's all nice and even in the way I want it I'm still not sure about this booze table where I want to put it hmm so if we move all those over now, I thought the gi giant baseball hat just kind of goes with the room I don't know why I just I think it's fun and youthful and it works right so now I'm working on the walls mm. 
And I have a star garland, I have the wall mount, and let's go ahead and place the stars. And again, I don't know, I think, I think right there. Place them over the, the machines, because that's, that's the only thing that's going to be like high enough and look kind of inappropriate. And we'll place those here, they can all sit on the giant hat. I know the giant hat, so I think it's supposed to be a table, but they can all sit on that giant hat and watch TV. <laughs> And then we've got these fun pendants, again, for the arcade, the sports, you know, type thing. So we're going to put these little pendants that I had found on here. And then we have another one here. And just something nice and fun. What do you guys think? You liking this so far? And then now the magic. Check out how this room is transformed once we shut the lights off. Isn't this awesome? I'm absolutely in love with this. And I do have, in my storage, I have this chair. But I just don't know. If we move this down to like here or whatever. And then over here in the corner, we can put the, the, the baseball mitt. What do you guys think? It, do you think it needs the baseball mitt? I don't know. I'm thinking, I don't know. Let me see. What else do we have? I just want to make sure I have everything out. I thought about putting the climbing wall in, but it just didn't look right. Couldn't figure out a replace for it. So I decided not to do the, the climbing walls, you know, leaving it just as kind of as the game room. And what do you guys think? This is what I have come up with. I'm just kind of playing around with everything, making sure. It's kind of nice that you can move some more of these pieces than you could before. And get your little, you know, your little chair there to sit. And now you can actually use the baseball helmet as a... Excuse me. As a table, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Up to them. You got the TV going, you know, hopefully showing some sports. And, uh... So this is our our arcade room i think it turned out pretty cool i love the wallpaper with it and having the lights off making all every all the games and everything just light up it really makes us a really fun room and i would come play in this room i mean what kid wouldn't want to come play in this room right so if you like this room as much as i do make sure you give it that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future videos and lots of walkthroughs and amazing island tours. But until next time, keep playing Animal Crossing. Bye!